Hello and welcome to more German soccer highlights on the 38th and last week of the season in the Bundesliga, the German First Division. Hi there, I'm Toby Charles. Our first match today, Rostock against Frankfurt. Frankfurt in the white shorts and dark striped shirts playing from right to left. That's Uli Stein, the Frankfurt goalkeeper. And this is a match that really both sides have to win. I know that's not possible. But Rostock, 19th in the table with 29 points. So they're fighting to avoid relegation down to the second division. Frankfurt top with 50 points. But it's only goal difference that keeps them at the top of the table ahead of VfB Stuttgart and Dortmund. Corner by Spies. The header by Arms. Capacity 25,000 crowd. That's Dragoslav Stepanovic, the Frankfurt coach. Free kick by Spies. The chance here. That was Schluntz. Frankfurt unbeaten in their last 13 games, and they've got the best attack in the league. They've scored 75 goals in their previous 37 matches. And that was Axel Kruse, Erich Rittermüller, the Rostock coach. Frankfurt, brilliant midfield. Uwe Bein, Andy Muller making a run through the middle. Tremendous turn of speed, and Daniel Hoffman, so quick to come off his line. No score at the interval, but the wives of the Frankfurt players certainly enjoying a very exciting match a dramatic match in a very exciting season Dragoslav Stepanovic looking at his watch he probably knew the scores at the other games as well Rostock now playing from right to left but it's Frankfurt on the attack and a back pass there by Stefan Berger who four times this season has put the ball into his own net almost doing it again About 8,000 fans from Frankfurt made the trip to Rostock. Rostock, last season, East German champions, which gained them a place in the Bundesliga. Gerd Kischer, the Rostock president, can hardly watch. He knows his team, even if they win, could be going down to the second division, depending on the results of the other games. So much at stake on this last day of the season. Nothing decided. But now, Mertz, the substitute, and Dover in the 64th minute, making it 1-0 for the underdogs. Dragoslav Stepanovic can't believe it. Urging on his players now, saying, come on, lads, let's get back into this. But it's Rostock who is celebrating at the moment. Andy Muller will probably be leaving Frankfurt the cross from Mertz and Dover completely unmarked no chance for Uli Stein and they came again but now some quick passing by Frankfurt this is Ralph Weber the attacking left back goes outside his man puts over the perfect cross Axel Kruser, who used to play for Rostock, by the way, getting his fifth Bundesliga goal. Only two minutes after Rostock took the lead, Frankfurt equalized. And everybody thought then that they were going to get number two. Tony Yaboa, Ghanaian international. And Frankfurt knowing they had to win. Now look at this. Yaboa on the turn into the side netting. Tony Yaboa. And Frankfurt kept pushing players forward in an effort to get the winner. Yaboa. Weber. He was brought down, everybody thought so, by Stefan Berger. But the referee, Helmut Krug, didn't think so. Now look at that, the ball wasn't played.
certainly looked like a penalty to me because there was no reason for Weber to take a dive. And then Spies, the fine save by Oli Stein. Time was running out for Frankfurt. What happened here? The ball's in the net. Frankfurt thought they'd got the winner. Zippel. That, they decided, or decided the referee anyway, was handball by Uwe Bein. So the goal was disallowed. Erich Rotemüller said, thank goodness for that. Then Falkenmeier to substitute Schmidt. And look at that. How unlucky can you get against the post? And after that, it was obvious it just wasn't going to be Frankfurt's day. Rostock broke out of defense. And look, Oli Stein almost on the halfway line. Stefan Berger in the 92nd minute, the second minute of overtime, making it 2-1 for Rostock. Here it is again, the goal that destroyed Frankfurt's championship hopes. That's our next game. Even though Schalke had made certain 61,000 fans, they'd made certain of avoiding relegation. For them, there was nothing really to play for but 61,000 fans in the Gelsenkirchen Park Stadium. Müller after a fine pass from Mikhailovic. Kaiserslautern, the reigning German champions, fourth in the table with 44 points. Schalke 15th with 32 points. Kaiserslautern not really certain of a place in Europe and going a goal down in the 22nd minute. Egon Flad taking the pass from Mikhailovic. No chance for Jerry Ehrman in the Kaiserslautern goal. The one two with Mikhailovic. And then Egon Flad. One nil for Schalke in half time. The Royal Blues. And then the second half. And against the bar there by Christensen, Ben Christensen, taking a lovely pass from Schlipper, hitting it well, against the bar. You can't believe it, the Danish star. Now watch what happens here. Christensen picks the ball up, throws it at one of the Kaisers Lodgen players. Bit of play acting there. And the referee, Hartmut Stramper, shows Gredig the yellow card. Now look at that. Kelly Feldkamp, the Kaiserslautern coach, not too happy about his own players play acting. Worth an Oscar, that was. And look at that goal in the 73rd minute by Mikhailovic. The Yugoslav star. A great shot. His third goal of the season which gives Schalke a 2-0 victory against Kaiserslautern. And now we're going to show you the goals from three games in quick succession. First of all, Stuttgart kickers against Bochum. The kickers on the attack and going 1-0 up in the 65th minute through Juan Cayasso from Costa Rica, his second goal of the season. Here it is again, the header first of all by Cayasso. Then the rebound. The kickers 18th in the table with 29 points. Bochum 13th with 33 points. And the referee, Hans Peter Delving, deciding that was a foul by Kemper on Cayasso in the 68th minute. So it was a penalty. Marine took it. 2-0 the final score. Bremen against Nuremberg. Bremen on the attack. And going one up after 38 minutes through Stefan Kohn. His sixth goal of the season. And the Bremen fans with the La Ola wave. But that changed in the second half because Nuremberg through Andre Golka 
really went wild. That was the 59th minute, one all. And then the 70th minute. Watch this now. Golker again. His sixth goal of the season. Didn't please the dog much either. And then the 76th minute. The best goal of the match. Look at that. On the volley. First time by Andre Golka. A fantastic goal. Making it Bremen 1, Nuremberg 3. Karlsruhe on the attack in their own stadium in front of 30,000 fans against Bayern Munich. Karlsruhe 8th in the table, 39 points. Bayern 10th, 36 points. And Valery Smarov giving Karlsruhe the lead in the 57th minute. The Soviet star. And then Mehmet Scholl with a corner in the 69th minute. And Borkhardt Reich with a tremendous shot. Making it 2-0 for the home side. Vinny Schaefer, the Karlsruhe coach, naturally delighted. And finally, Creek in the 75th minute makes it 3-0 for Karlsruhe against Bayern Munich. 